Welcome back to Suksom channel and how are you today? Hopefully you are fine and today I'm going to show you some aglonema varieties. I will tell the name also but before we start please subscribe this channel. Don't forget to like and share my video. Thank you guys. There are so many kinds of aglonema varieties and each aglonema has its own characteristic special for their lip patterns and color as you see here there is Rayanita this is Aglonema and the name is Rayanita I'm sure that you like this Aglonema because the color is very beautiful this is one of my favorite guys I will take one of them and then I will show you closer well this is Rayanita. As you see the leaves, in the center of the leaves, the color is quite pink and then there is dark green also. Not hard to plant Rayanita. You can plant this using a simple growing media, for example, roasted hucks, mixed raw hucks. Rayanita can grow up well. I will show you Cochin Tembaga. This is Cochin Tembaga, guys. I will take and show you closer. The size of the leaves is big enough and see the color, so beautiful. There is dark green also. This is a very simple for the way to care for Tembaga guys. If you like to plant this using soil, it's okay. But if you want to water, I suggest just spray the growing media. And this one is pink anja if you like pink. I recommend this aglonema for you guys, Pink Anjamani. I will show you this aglonema, the name is Emerald. There are so many leaves in this aglonema. The shape of this aglonema, the shape of the leaves is circle guys and so beautiful. Uh, the name is Emerald. I'm sure that you like this also. After that, I will show you Viduri, guys. Well, this is Viduri. It's look like legacy, but this is not legacy. This is Viduri, the name of the aglonema. The name of this aglonema is Viduri, guys. Yeah, in the center of the leaves it's quite pink and then dark green is dominant also for the color of the leaves guys this is Viduri do you like this kind of aglonema this one is dude white I'm sure that this kind of aglonema is familiar for you the name is dude white yeah and then the color is white mixed with dark green and this aglonema is very healthy guys as you see here there are three yeah three aglonema of good white in one part next this one is harley queen if you like harley queen yeah maybe you have this at home i love this aglonema so much This aglonema get a little bigger part because uh, already big and this is an old aglonema has three babies guys Harley Quinn the name of this aglonema and then I will show you moonlight wow this is moonlight guys very big the name is moonlight in my country the price of this aglonema is quite expensive 
okay and then the shape of the color is circle I give little bigger hot because it's an old aglonema and this one is pride of Sumatra and this one is Lady Valentine the lips are so many pride of Sumatra is come from Indonesia because the name is pride of Sumatra this is an elegant aglonema because the color is special guys and then so healthy and then there are so many babies of pride of Sumatra here if you would like to plant pride of Sumatra using soil is okay just put a little bit I love this aglonema pride of Sumatra very very elegant and then the shape is tapered the shape of the lip is tapered very beautiful Morodoklok has a big leaf and the shape is taper. There is white spot on the leaves and the spot makes this aglonema looks more beautiful. If you like green, I recommend this kind of aglonema guys. The name is Lady Valentine. There is pink color, yeah. And then, as you see, there is dark green also. I will put down, and then we will see that Lady Valentine is very, very beautiful, guys. Wow! I'm sure that you like you like this aglonema, Lady Valentine. You can put Lady Valentine. Uh, in a room also guys but this aglonema still needs sun signs indirectly so healthy very very healthy the i mean the age of this lady valentine is more than one year guys this is lady valentine also look the size of the leaves is very very big wow lady valentine's has a specific color and so many people love this because of the color is pink i put down also and then you can see so beautiful my country people call this red cochin and this aglonema is very very healthy the price is not expensive guys actually uh, about the price for aglonema is relative it's depend of the quality is depend on the quality of the aglonema if the aglonema is good so the price will be expensive If you like green, I recommend this aglonem, guys. This is an old aglonema because this aglonema has so many babies. And this aglonema get a big pot because the root is so many. Love this one so much. Hopefully you like this aglonema also, guys. Now I will show you this aglonema. The name is Big Roy. The shape of the leaves is taper. 
and then the size is big guys look the color is very beautiful it's not hard to care this aglonema you can blend using soil also is okay and water this aglonema once in a week no problem because it's easy to care big roy quite beautiful Aglonema still needs some signs for their photosynthesis but indirectly that's why it's better to put a net in the garden so sunset can come but indirectly guys I have some collection at home and this Aglonema I put at home because they are uh, my special collections and then I will show you some of my aglonema which I keep at home guys okay well now I am at home and I'm not in the garden I will show some of my collection also which I keep at home okay now we start from this one this is a uh, pinchut the name of this aglonema is pinchut this is very beautiful guys in the center of the leaves the color is red and then this one is dark green and then there is light green also here and there are more than 10 leaves here almost 20 leaves and for this aglonema for pinchut i plant this with uh, roasted hacks only with roasted hacks only and then I do not mix with garden soil this is one of my favorite because this uh, aglonema is very healthy this is the new leaves and for this leaves is very beautiful guys the name is pinchut guys and for this one this is uh, one of Cochin varieties, the name is Cochin Tembaga, or if we can translate into English is uh, Copper Cochin, yeah, Copper Cochin, and this is very beautiful. For this kind of aglonema, I plant with garden soil mixed with roasted hux, so not only roasted hux, here I mix with garden soil also. It's not hard to care this uh, aglonema, it's not hard to care Cochin Tembaga because this is very easy to grow up can you see when I bought this one there were five leaves only and in two months can be like this guys and for the leaves the color is like copper it's like copper color the color is like copper color and for this one yeah there is red mixed with dark green also So beautiful guys but this aglonema hasn't has baby guys hopefully uh, maybe next month can be has a baby or maybe two babies of Cochin Tembaga so many people like this if my friend come to my house they uh, said to me that they want to buy this but I love this so much all aglonema in my house I do not sell the aglonema because this is my special collections and I keep at home not in the garden and then for this one is frozen yeah if you come to the garden you will not find this aglonema because I only have one this is frozen very unique in the center of the leaves the color is pink and then quite large you can see and then the shape is taper guys frozen and then for the color white is more dominant I think this is not white maybe look like snow I think it's not like snow guys but there is white color here this is the name is frozen and then it's not hard to care this aglonema I plan with garden soil also mixed with roasted hugs 
I put a big pot for this one because the roots uh, is so many. There are so many roots for this frozen. There are so many roots. Same with Cochin Tembaga. I use a bigger pot. And I water this plants twice in a week. If I water this one, I only spray the water. I only spray the growing media. I only spray the growing media. And for this one is Red Anjamani, guys. The name is Red Anjamani. This is an adult aglonema. The leaves are so many. And the shape is taper also. Actually, it's like pink, but this is Red Anjamani. There is green spot in each leaves. If we keep this uh, aglonema indoor, maybe the color will not be like this guys so aglonema needs sunshine also however indirectly same like this i put a net at home also so when sunshine come to my aglonema aglonema still safe and the leaves will not be burned and i put a big pot also because this is an old aglonema okay guys what do you think Beautiful or no? Do you like this? And this one is Widuri. It's like legacy, but this is not legacy, guys. This is Widuri. And then this is a new collection which I keep in my house. When I bought this, there were two leaves only, but for now, one, two, three, four, four leaves, and will be five because there is the new one here. And I plant this with garden soil also. This is very unique for the leaves. In the middle or in the center of the leaves, it's pink and then uh, dark green. This one is dark green. Okay. And this is one of my favorite, Suksom Jaipong. Yeah. It's like a fire because of the color. This is red full of red and then the leaves are very big it's not hard to care suksom jaipong actually if we can give a good growing media for suksom jaipong for suksom jaipong i use rosted hugs also and i do not mix with soil guys this is a bigger pot yeah a big pot why because this suksom jaipong has so many roots and then this is uh, an adult, almost all aglonema guys. So many people come to my house and they want to buy this, but I do not sell this aglonema because I have only one for Suksom Jaipong. Actually, I have the other one, but this is the big one. Yeah, the biggest one of Suksom Jaipong, which I have. Yeah, in the side of the leaves, there is green and for this one that is green also this one is so healthy this is actually the new leaves guys but uh, after some days this one is yeah will be a leaf also guys leaves i water suksom jaipong uh, twice in a week also yeah twice in a week so if I plant aglonema uh, using garden soil, I will spray. I will spray only. I will spray the growing media only when I water the aglonema. And this one is one of my collection at home. Yeah, I do not keep this in the garden because uh, this one is uh, so expensive, guys. The name is Cochin Sutra. But if we translate into English, is silk cochin. Yeah, this is one of cochin varieties. Uh, at the first time, yeah, when I bought this aglonema, only there are three leaves, guys. This one, this one, and this one. At the time, I use uh, roasted hucks only for the growing media. But it's hard for this aglonema to grow up. After four months, hard for this aglonema to give new leaves. And then I change the growing media. I use garden soil, guys. Yeah, garden soil for this. 
and then I put a uh, rosette hux also a little bit and then as you see one two three four five six seven eight there are eight leaves this is very special because the color is not red pink and but uh, it's like silk guys silk the color of silk that's why uh, in my country this is uh, one of favorite so so many people want to have this kind of aglonema yeah cochin sutra or silk cochin as you see very unique and i love this so much i give a big pot also because the roots are so many so if you want to plant aglonema you have to give a proportional pot guys you have to think about the size of the aglonema and uh, about the root also if the size of the aglonema is big enough it's okay for you to put a big pot right and then if the root is so many also but if still small and then the root is not so many it's better for you to give a small pot for this one yeah i give a big pot because the character of this aglonema is uh, strong yeah strong and then for widuri it's not hard to care this one this one is red anjamani also this is red anjamani same with this one red anjamani but this one is uh, different about the shape this is red anjamani this is an import aglonema from thailand yeah it's like pink but this one the name is red anjamani guys this is the first lips i still have the first lips until now this one the first the first lips guys where it's hard to record now nah, this one still small but day by day this aglonema grow up and grow up and then for the new lips the red color it's more dominant actually this one is this one is uh what we call it the real lips not real i mean uh, this is the original color for red anjamani because i put uh, outdoor yeah i keep this aglonema outdoor so the color the color become like this guys but this is red anjamani there are so many Dips and this one is one of my favorite cuts. This is lipstick kanza, yeah. The name of this aglonema is lipstick kanza. This is very unique because the sides, yeah, the side of the lips, the color is pink, and then the center line is pink also. So beautiful. In my country, the price of this aglonema is quite expensive. And thanks God, I still have one. However, it's on, it's still, yeah, I can call this baby, guys, because the lips is still small and only four. Yeah, will be five lips here. And this is, is lipstick kanza. So many people like this aglonema, guys. Because of the size of the, uh, because of the size, yeah, because the size is still small, so I give a small pot. And I do not put garden soil for this aglonema. Yeah, I do not put garden soil. And I water this twice in a week. For this one is komkom. -kom. I do not keep this in the garden but only at home. This is komkom -kom, guys. Yeah, the name is komkom. -kom. The size of the leaves is not big. It's like circle and then the pink color more dominant and then there is dark green also kom kom and then this one is the second suksom jaipong which i have yeah suksom jaipong which i have so beautiful guys and this one is no white Snow White. I'm sure you have known and familiar with this kind of aglonema, Snow White, about the color. Yeah, there is white and then there is green spot. 
I keep a small pot here and this Snow White give me three babies of Snow White. One. Look. There are three babies here. One, two, and then this is one more. Three. So if you come to my house, maybe I will give you one of the baby. <laughs> Just kidding guys. Okay. So this is Snow White. And this one is Hot Lady. Yeah, Hot Lady. Actually, I bought this two months ago. And then this Aglonema cannot grow up well. I like to do experiment, guys. For this one. Yeah, I give a big pot. And then at the first time, I use garden soil but cannot grow up well. And I change the growing media. I use rusted hacks only. But when I observe this, a uh, hot lady cannot grow up also. Cannot grow up well also. Because almost 3 months, guys. But for the new leaves, cannot grow up well, guys. And maybe tomorrow I will change this one using a small pot. So I like to do experiments to get new experience about aglonema. And then for this one. This is red cochin. Yeah. A red cochin. And then I using garden soil also. There are three. One baby. Yeah. There is a baby here. And then this one will be the baby of red cochin also. I call this red cochin guys. I call this red cochin guys. Well guys, which one do you like? So care, to care aglonema is not hard if you want to try yeah if you want to try and try to get the best one for your aglonema but if uh, we are still beginner and it's better for us to give a safe growing media for example only roasted hucks also only roasted hucks is okay. It's one of a safe growing media for aglonema. Same like this. I only give roasted hucks for suksom jaipong. For this one, for this one is siam aurora. I have some, yeah, which I keep at home. This is siam aurora. And this one is siam aurora also. And I love this one because, uh, this, I mean, the shape of the leaves, Roset guys look but hasn't given me baby guys but this is so good guys and so beautiful this is uh, not lipstick kanza yeah if lipstick kanza the lips is not a uh, taper like this but siam aurora has a uh, taper shape for the lips in the middle or in the center is pink also and inside of the lips is pink also. This one, yeah, give me one baby of Siam Aurora. It's not hard to care Siam Aurora. However, you give a small pot, a big pot, Siam Aurora can grow up well. And then I only use gar, uh, I only use soil, guys, to plant Siam Aurora. I only use soil. And then I water this once in a week, sometimes twice in a week. But Siam Aurora can grow up well, so it's not hard and very very easy to care Siam Aurora. Okay, guys, I think that's all. Yeah, I have shown you some of my uh, Aglonema collections. Okay, I have shown you, and then hopefully this video can be useful for you. Can give a lot of reference about Aglonema varieties, and also please subscribe my channel. And don't forget to like and share this video. Okay, thank you guys. See you in the next video. Please subscribe and goodbye guys.